Alrighty. Looks like I'm up. Oh, what? Okay. That was weird. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to some Yakuza Zero. Uh, looks like we got some, uh, new unlock things. Challenge mode for the best of fighters does not count for the professionalist and previous scene story events. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue. The real estate broker in the shadow. Chapter 2. Gonna be squeaky clean. I won't have any blood on me. I got a tattoo on my back. Please don't show my crap. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I thought it was a hologram for a second. Jeez. The reflection made me think it was a hologram of that guy's head. Shokuji. Actually, I just had some chicken fingers. Oh, that looks good. Well,いいが空気にはなれねえ。あんたが誰かを聞くまではな。私に危険はありませんよ、キリュウさん。くつろいでください。俺の服はだいぶ汚れていましたので、クリーニングさせています。すぐにお返ししますよ。立花さんだったな。ええ。ご安心ください。私は片木の人間です。カムロ町で不動産屋を営んでいます。不動産屋？それが俺に何の用だ
殻の一粒に決まっているじゃないですか。また殻の一粒か。No, right? really、私と手を組んでいただけませんか、キリュウさん。道島組の若頭補佐たちが殻の一粒を手にすれば、風間さんは波紋を免れません。ですが私があの土地を手に入れれば風間さんを守ることができますそれにあなたのぬいぎぬも晴らさなければカムロ町における我が社の情報網はちょっとしたものです私と手を組めばきっと真犯人を追えますなんでそこまでして俺を引き入れようとするあんたの本当の目的は何なんだ俺の服を返してくれ、立花さん。私の申し入れを拒むと。あんたの話は俺にとって都合が良すぎる。この町じゃ、そういう時ほど用心しなきゃなんねえ。生き残るためにはな。なるほど。少し甘く見ていたようですね。でもいつか考え直してくださると信じています。せめて。この名刺だけはお持ちいただけますかああ。わかった。服はすぐに持ってこさせます。では、私は、これで。Well. I mean, I am in agreement with、uh, Kiryu. Like, this is just way too conveniently timed. Kiryu, Kiryu? I don't know, like, how you properly would pronounce it. You know, I'm not dead yet. He's probably still at the Cosmo family. Excuse me, pardon me. Don't mean to, ca don't mean to cause any troubles. <coughs> That's a little dry. That guy's like, nope, I don't want to be in the cutscene. <laughs> I don't want to die. Well, he doesn't look happy. Kashiwaki san. Kiryu! Nishiki. Omae. Daijobu datta no ka? Oi, maji ka yo, yoku koro sare nagatta na. なんてだがこれで俺はきっちり道島組を破門になったそうかそれじゃあおやさんももう大丈夫ってことかおやさんのことはまだだ俺の濡れ衣が晴れねえ限り道島組はおやさんに責任かぶせる気でいるなんでだよお前がもう組を抜けたってのにかああただそれでも一歩前進だ。道島のダイモンが外れた以上、こっから好きにやらせてもらう。クゼを捕まえて、真犯人の居所を吐かせてやる。そうだな。わかった。それじゃあとりあえず、柏木さんにも伝えねえと。行こうぜ。いや、俺は登場会から破門された人間だ。もう風間組の事務所には入れない。柏木さんにはお前から伝えてくれおい何言ってんだよ水くせえないいから来いってせめてものけじめだ錦きっちり筋は通す筋ってお前は何も悪いことしてねえのによだったらお前この後アパート帰るだろ俺もすぐ行くから詳しい話はそこで聞かせてくれ分かったじゃあ
あとでな。Chico is going for everybody. You can hear it from outside, which I'm not surprised. Hey! That's the guy that talked. That is not a good voice for him. <clears throat> there a problem? Yeah! You seem to think you can just walk by me without a word? Do I know you? This isn't your turf. Why should I have to tell you anything? I'm not here to chat. If you don't want to get hurt, you'll leave all the cash you got and get lost. This is such a weird angle to basically mug somebody. Huh? <laughs> oh, this is a shakedown. You should pick your targets better. I don't have a single yen for chumps like you. Then I guess we'll do this the hard way. Hope you're insured. Mr. Shakedown. That's a great name for... Bad. I'll let you off the hook this time. I'm I'm not half bad. I barely got four punches in. What? If I'm having trouble with somebody like you, I need to change my training regimen. I'm to bump up the intensity, which is going to be expensive. If I want to save up that kind of money, I gotta I got some shaking down to do. Ah, get back here. Hey! You okay, man? Yeah. You just had the misfortune to of meeting Hir Hiroya Hiroya Igashira. Mr. Shakedown, they call him. Mr. Shakedown. Yeah. He'll go after anybody that crosses his path, and then he takes everything Oh, excuse me, everything they've got. You seem like you can hold your own in a fight, but that guy's on a whole different level. If he sets his sight on you, you run for it. He's definitely more than your average tough guy, than your average tough guy could handle. Still, I wish somebody would come along and beat the stolen money right out of him. What? Did he get you too? You're right, he did. Took my whole holiday bonus. I knew I shouldn't have made a beeline for the bank with it. You'd be careful, you'd be careful too, next time you're sitting on a stack of cash. Oh, and rumor has it, Igashira, uh, Igashira's not the only Mr. Shakedown. And that they aren't just, uh, Kamaru, Kamaru Cho, Kamaru Cho thing. Stay sharp if you ever... Go out, of, get out, go out of town. Trade down, huh? He was insanely tough. I probably haven't seen the last of him. Better keep my eyes peeled. Mr. Shakedown won. If you lose to Mr. Shakedown in battle, he'll take all the money you have. If you spot him in the street, the safest tactic is to run away before he can rope you into a fight. If you can beat Mr. Shakedown, you'll reclaim all the money he's stolen from you. The amount he's carrying varies at different times. If you can take him down when he's especially flush for cash, you can make back more than you lost. Great. Oh, okay, so I still got my money. Good. I was really afraid for a moment that I was gonna lose all my money. Oh. oh. 
Okay. Thank you. For the tissue. I no longer have an issue. I don't know how far away uh, the apartment is, so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, save real quick. Oh, jeez. Nope. I don't got time for you. Did not even notice that he was right there, and there was a safe box right there. Of course, there was. Man, I feel stupid. You can travel to Kiryu's apartment. Yeah, let's call it a day. Feels like I haven't been home in forever. Way too much has happened the last couple days. Two oh one. だ、キリュ。ビール。そうか。でもお前が生きて戻ってきたの見てから、またすげえ勢いでレーメン食ってたよ。それまでは<笑> わかがしら ニュースになったら会社の中で打ち殺されてたらしい。あの社長はクゼの指示でお前を空の一つぼに呼び出したんだろう。多分クゼがそのクチフージに殺させたんだ。クゼは。あいつ。そんなに簡単に人を殺す
カムロ町に特化した不動産乗っ取りのスペシャリストだ不動産乗っ取りああ今カムロ町は狭い土地に飲み屋やら風俗やら店がひしめき合って空きがねえしかもそのほとんどを登場界の極道たちが仕切ってるだが立花不動産はそのカムロ町の鉄の壁に穴を開けることができるんだ、うん、鉄の壁に穴を開けるどんなに繁盛してる店だろうが立花不動産が目をつけりゃ数日持たずに中の人間は追い出されちまう金脅迫嫌がらせヤクザ顔負けのやり口で店潰しちゃ空きになった不動産を転売するって話だたとえ登場界のケツ持ちと勝ち合おうがお構いなしにな Interesting. 今時の不動産周りは金の足づかみ競争だ得体の知れない連中が群がってるけどその中でも立花不動産は札付きだ登場界本家も連中を排除しようと追ってるらしい本家かそのくらい厄介な連中ってことだけどそいつらがおめえの味方につくとなると面白くなるな信用できる相手ならの話だなんで俺を引き込もうとするのか立花の腹が読めねえフランチャイズマン少し突っ込んで立花不動産を調べてみようぜ探ってみる価値はあるいや調べるのは俺一人でやるあお前が俺と一緒に動けば同島組に目をつけられるお前は関わるな組抜けると決めた時から一人でやるのは覚悟の上だ He wants that franchise man He knows this can make big bucks But you wanna know what's going on Next day Even if he is right, and I should accept Tachibana's offer. But I need more to kill on before I can trust him. I should head to town and see what I can find about him. Gather info on Tachibana real estate! Doggo? The doggo, it's, it, I think it's a Shiba. Are there cats on the car, or was that a cat down there? Can't quite tell. I can't tell what it is, but it's cute animals. <gasps> Kitty! Orocho. Orocho. I don't know how to properly pronounce that. I'm trying my best to feel like I'm pronouncing it right, but I don't think I am. <laughs> Checking around, seeing what we got. Actually, a lot. Alright, first things first, let's go ahead and see. Exactly where. Men in black!
Let's see if I can get any, uh... Yes, I'm with that. Hello. It's a lot of options right away. these other items, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get like a few of these. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, keep on going. You still haven't found the president of Tachibana Real Estate? Our boss ain't a patient man, and we've been keeping him waiting for a, a long time. Hmm. Who are these guys? Mm. I'm sorry, sir, but the guy's a shadow. Doesn't leave a trace. The informants in this town can tell you anything except when it has to do with Tachibana Real Estate. Wait. None of them? Then what? Tachibana's bought them all? Huh. I'm saying he's paid them all enough to keep quiet. And if he's really that guy, that guy, that kind of guy, they say he is, it's possible. Ugh. Wonder if there's any way to outspend him. Um. With what money, sir? You don't really have any. Uh huh? Then get out there and find me some information! Forget the informants, go to one of the businesses he's bought out or something. Y yes sir. Okay. I'm not going here, I guess I can't go in there. Can I go in here? Nope, can't go in there. I go through here? Nope. Alright, Sega. Let's see if you can tell me where to go. Welcome to the Sega Arcade. What can I do for you? Change UFO catcher threat. Okay. In case I can play this. I think I could probably play that. Let's go ahead and try to do some crane games. I've always wanted to do some crane gra uh, crane games in Japan. Crane grain. Okay, I'm supposed to hold it. I'm dumb. I mean, it also doesn't say anything, so... I see a different thing. I want to try to get this one because it looks like there's a blue axolotl. That's what everybody wants, right? Nowadays. Okay, 
Okay, well, I moved it. I didn't exactly move it the way I would like to have moved it, but I moved it. Hey, it looks like I got the blue axolotl. Wukun. Alright. Try to get this karaoke bird. No way. Yeah! Crane Game Master! Karakappa. Or Karakappa. I don't know. Alright. That was fun. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Yakuza! I do want to also experience like other uh, like forms of entertainment. Help me! You want to get bruised, boy? I'll be doing the bruising, I think. You heard that, guys? Get him! I'm sorry, please don't hit me anymore. Thank you. I don't have much I can give, but maybe you'll have use for this. Another platinum plate. It's me, Bob Usunomiya. 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 Zero. Guess what I have for you? Uh... I'm confused. But it's for you, and it's free, you know? 
I don't. EPH. Okay. Gotta go fast! from enemies or dash for longer recover oh excuse me more quickly I mean I'll get more money why not take a nap in the park that's an interesting upgrade to get I feel bad got the judgment outfit you got an extra balance motor or extra balance motor extra slim tires gears speed frame plus side stabilizers stun gun photon blade prototype yo sacrifice stone change your outfit use the phone in your hideout it only works in Premium Adventure, and if you have the Dragon of Do Do Dojima pack, or... Okay. I don't know if... I don't know, like... I mean, it looks like these are all just free, so why not? on this until I figure out what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> Distraction, fool. <laughs> He's not human. Um, very human. I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to be going at all. Mm. I'm bummed the cafe blend uh, those all of a sudden. Them being open all night was a huge deal. You heard about any? You heard anything about it? I think the guy running the place just skipped town. Mm. Nah, 
that they just moved shot. They, they're across the mock hole behind Theater Square. There's a new uh -huh. sign up. Oh, really? But wait, why bother moving if it's only a few blocks away? They got chased off by those guys, Tachibana Real Estate. I hear they didn't leave the guy much choice. Same with all the other tenants in the building. A lot of them either moved shop or just shuttered for good. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Whoa, seriously? Well, that's a relief. I guess I'll have to hit hit them up behind the Theater Square next time. I guess Theater Square. Oh, there's Theater Square. I guess I should have actually paid attention to what specifically they were saying, so... And I mean, since I'm right here... Here is almost this place. There's another uh, karaoke store. to see what would happen if I hit you with the sign, but no, you just had to be all like, no, I'm gonna punch you. Mm -hmm. right, now let me see what this is. This wasn't even the entrance, was it? Vincent, that doesn't explain to me what it is. Alright, let's go check out Mock Bowl. to you guys, huh? him already. He's got superhuman strength. This place. It's fancy. Looks like I belong there. I was like, I thought I already was here, but no. Uh, I mean, I technically was. I was looking for the bowling alley, though. Hello. Hmm. Yikes! Uh. Oi. Hey, are you all right? Uh? Eh. Figures I would bump into somebody. <laughs> Somebody in so, so, it figures I would bump into some swaggering punk. Oi, oi! You are an old man. This is going. This isn't going to end well. Are you all right? Uh, no. What's the big idea, yo? I'm sorry. I uh, watch where you step. You're not hurt or anything, are you? All right, if that's how you want to play this out. Nice. What? Eh? I am so sorry. No, I mean, I'm in a rush, see? 
So please get lost, you punk. So and so. All right. What just happened? Okay, I guess that's like a side quest thing I can do later, maybe? I don't know. Wait, this isn't it either? No, this is it. Is this the entrance? Where's the entrance to this place? looking crowd. <laughs> Oi! So freaking stoked, man! A rare street. A rare street show by the Yokomichi's uh, Silver. Ah. Too right. Those guys are rock and roll gods. Look at this crowd. They drew all those punks without any ads or nothing. Crazy Kyo. Is that what it'd be? Kyo? Crazy Kyo! And the Yokomichi Silvers rule! And keep your pants on, but I heard that Yokomichi Silvers are going. are gonna hold a QA panel too. Okay. No effing way! They're famous, so. For, they're famous for never saying a word and letting their music do the talking. I wonder what they'll talk about. Sounds like some band doing an event here. Must be popular with the local pumps. Huh? Ah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at those people. Holy cow, what are we gonna do? Oi. Hey, you. Yikes! Eh? Gee whiz, pal, I nearly peed my- Uh, what are you doing shuffing around behind me, you ugly knob? A knob, I don't know. Uh, yeah, sorry. I thought I should apologize for bumping into you earlier. Oi, who? Oh, you're the man! No, I shouldn't be apologize- I should be apologizing for my own kills. I mean, whatever. Uh. Um, sure. Wait a second. Could you possibly be unaware of who I am? Yeah. Mm, are you asking if we've met before we bumped into each other? If we did, I don't recognize you. Yeah. Oh, wait a second then. So you really don't know who I am? Well, occurs. What a relief. Hmm. I'm sorry. I was rude to not introduce myself. Name's Kyo. But my stage name is Crazy Kyo. I'm the vocalist in a band. Let me guess. The Yokomichi Silvers. The same band those young punks there are excited to see. Aren't you guys some kind of legendary junkie band? Yankee band? I don't know. Yes, that's us. We're doing a street show here later. Oh, sorry to bug you before your show. Good luck. Whoa! Where the heck do you think you're going, old man? Uh, wait, please, sir, don't, don't go. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe you could save me. Save you? Nani? What? You even hardcore in the slightest? Nope. As a joke, we tried dressing all in old punk at a show. To our shock, they got we got pretty popular with the Yankee crowd. But now we have to keep up this charade full time. Over time, we gained a fan base of wannabe punks, and the Yokomichi Silvers became heroes to the rebellious youth of Japan. That whole style is called Yankee now. Mm. There's more to running a band than I thought. So, what do you mean by saving you? I. Uh, actually, 
I want you to teach me how to be a hardcore hooligan. Nani. Teach you to be a Yankee. Yes, you see, for today's event, we also have to do a live panel, a meet and greet for the fans. But every member of the Yokomichi Silvers, myself included, are law-abiding choir boys. We've never even shoplifted. Oh, excuse me. If we were to talk in front of Yil real Yonki, Yonki, I, I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, probably not. They'd realize that we're phonies. Fake punks, eh? Now that you mention it, the way you talk doesn't match how you dress at all. Right, so if we spoke to our fans, we'd lose all our credibility and popularity in an instant. Or worse, what if they want revenge on us for fooling them? Okay, but do you have to do this panel thing? Why don't you just skip it? <laughs> I don't want to do it either! But our agency says we need to hone our speaking, our speaking skills if we want to stay popular. They're making us do this. We've been avoiding every situation where we might have to talk instead of just perform, but now... Got it. So, you want me to teach you how to behave like a Yankee so you can uh, talk like one? But why me? Why? Well, that would be because... You're my idol of what Hooligan should be. Gee, thanks. That confident demeanor. Your razor sharp glare. The barbed wire attitude that says, touch me and get cut. And yet, you also exude, exude a sense of kindness. A guy who extends a helping hand to the weak. The Hooligan with a heart of gold. That's my ideal Yankee. Well, yeah, I am Yakuza. Kind of. You can teach me. You can teach me. You can teach us so we won't blow our cover. More than that, I think you can give us Yonki wisdom that will propel the Yokomichi Silvers to a new height of hooliganism. Please. If we lose this chance, the Yokomichi Silvers may have to break up. Please teach me how to carry myself like a true Yonki. Okay then. I'm not sure how useful I can be, but I'll try. <gasps> really? Thank you so much! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. It's Kiryu. Okie dokie, Kiryu-san. Give me just a second, please. I'll go get the others. Sorry to keep you waiting, Kiryu-san. This is our drummer, Sleazy Tarashi. Hey. hey there, I'm Tarashi. My stage name is Sleazy, but I have no experience with the ladies. Never b even seen a boob. And this is our bassist, Bad Boy Aku. I am Aku. Hobbies caring for elders. And this is Kiryu's son, who's gonna impart the ways of true Yonkai style hooliganism onto us. Please teach us, Kiryu-san. <sighs> hmm. You guys are so polite and proper. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I can do for you. Oh no, please don't say that. We're all pretty good guys at heart, so please help us. In your case, being pretty good guys is the problem. But I did agree to do this, so somehow we have to turn you guys into hard-edged punks. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Hmm. How can I show you guys how to be tougher, though? Mm. Well, maybe you could come up with an opening remark for little old me. Your opening remark? Yes, I want to kick off our panel with authority. Being hooligans, we shouldn't come across as weak or hesitant. Please, Kiryu-san. I need a zinger of an opening line to set the tone. Dearly beloved, we have gathered here today. <laughs> Start your engines. Hello, but in English. Mm. And I'd open with, start your engines. 
Start your engines. Oh, like a racing term. Uh. Right. Bianchi movement is inspired by Western greasers. They, they'll love their they love their wheels. So true. That does go with the Yankee Yankai lifestyle. So I should follow with something like You get my pistons pumping, don't you think? That's good. Wouldn't hurt to throw in something like ram it into overdrive either. <laughs> right, right. I didn't know that about that one. I'm so glad we could uh, I'm so glad we got your advice, Kiryu san. Oh, oh, Kiryu san. Question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it? Well, the agency told me to tell the fans that about how I spend my days off when I'm not rehearsing or performing. Mm -hmm. Your days off, huh? Makes sense that fans would want to know what their heroes like, uh, live from day to day. Arshi, how would you spend your day off? Well, I make a habit of getting up bright and early so I can make some pancakes. After breakfast, I take my darling puppy, Chibi, uh, Chibi Chan, to the park for our mid morning stroll. And then we have a lunch at a chic cafe to rest our feet. On our way home, we do a little window shopping. After that, I binge on the dramas I got on my VCR until it's bedtime. Uh? You just described a typical typical girl's day. <laughs> uh, sorry. That's really that really made you sound like a fashionable younger woman. I was so surprised I got intense. I, I'm <laughs> so 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 scared. Oh no, Kiryu-san. You shouldn't shout like that. You made CZ Tarshi cry. That's a bit much, don't you think? <laughs> oh, no, dear. <laughs> Should say sorry. Uh. uh, yeah, my bad, Tarshi. It's... It's alright. I'm just... I was just startled. I wasn't expecting... It's all... So... Uh, how about I... I would... How about how would I spend my day off? Uh, uh yeah, right. One thing's clear. You can't tell your fans how you really spend your free time. No, I guess not. But then, what should I say? <laughs> what would I do instead? Days off, you say you spend time hang having fun with friends. Having fun with friends? That's kind of ordinary, isn't it? I mean, I already do that pretty regularly. Think about it. Punks are people too. On their days off, even the even they would want to spend it with their friends. Ever notice them squatting together in the par parking lot? Uh... True. I see them loitering around, like you say. But are they really friends? Oh, I used the wrong word. They're not friends. It should be mates. Mates. Actually, when you put it that way, the yunkai factor does go up. That uh, goes way up. <laughs> there. See? On your days off, you hang out with your mates. Actually, you and your mates just shoot uh, some nonsense with each other. Say that, and you'll be fine. <laughs> I kind of get it. I'm not sure what that actually means, but hanging out with mates totally sounds like what hooligans would do. Here you saw? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're bad boy Aku, right? What's the matter? What do I say? Mm -hmm. Aku, you didn't get a topic. You didn't get a topic like Tarashi? Nope. The agency told him to wing it. He's free to talk about whatever. Even though he's. Uh, practically mute. Bad boy Yaku even has a backstory. Locked up in a juvenile ref uh, uh, reformate reformor uh, reformatories from birth. Bad boy Yaku crushed packs of crushed packs of punks before he even finished preschool. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Agency's trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Aku's a man of few words with a crazy backstory. 
What should uh, what should he talk about to make him sound hardcore? Don't you think it'd be better to just stay quiet? Huh? Stay silent during the panel. Wouldn't, the, wouldn't a discussion without any talking be a disaster? Yeah. Nope. Haku was told he's free to talk about whatever he wants. That means he's also free to not talk at all. It's true, but... It would be worse if he were to say the wrong, wrong things and wreck his image. From Haku's backstory, I think he would seem more hardcore if he kept his mouth shut. When you put it that way, it makes total sense. Okay, we'll do that. Bad boy Aku stays speechless during his part. Uh. Sure, Aku. Are you good with that? Okay. All right. Now we'll go over how you'll run this whole panel discussion. Yes, please! Yokomichi Silvers, we're almost ready for you. Uh? Oh, is it time? Uh, I mean, fine. Uh, yikes, so sorry. I mean, you can come on when you're ready. I'll be watching from the audience. Yes, please watch us. We're gonna hit this hardcore yonkai, yonki, uh, thing out of the park. <laughs> We're gonna rule and stuff. Hmm. Here they are, put your hands together for the Yokomichi Silvers! Ooh! Whoa! Yeah! We love you, Yokomichi Silvers! Crazy Kyo san! Bad boy Aku! Over here! Woo! Check out Crazy Kyo san's original ESP guitar! Smoking rad style! The man's got the young Kai looked down! Nailed down! Woo! Uh. Wow. They are popular. And they're not talking, they do look like real greasers. Sopping wet high school, high rock and roll after school. Arshi Aku, hit it boys. That concludes today's performance by the Yokomichi Silvers. Just listen to their songs, I can see why young guy kids across Japan look up to Crazy Kyo's band. Now, we would like to move a special meet and greet panel discussion with the band members. Ooh, no way, no way! Crazy Kyo-san's actually gonna talk to us? That's totally mental! I can't wait to hear a bad boy Aku's voice! off. Uh? Yo, Grease Hounds. We're the Yokomichi Silvers. Start your engines. Yeah! Crazy Kyo Sound! <laughs> cool your jets, bros. But I got to hand it Crazy Kyo Sound. You know, he knows how to rev us up and kick us into top gear. He's totally ace. Thanks for coming and rocking out with your tunes. We love you all, you romantic rats. You punks get my pistons pumping. 
right here under the hood. SI31, thanks for the follow. I love you like my turbo drive. Food. Good. The fans are eating it up. Going with racing terms paid off. Awesome. Thank you, Crazy Kyo-san. Next, we would like to hear from uh, Sleazy Tarashi and the bad boy Aki-san as well. First up, Sleazy Tarashi-san. Here's a question we got from a fan. How do you usually spend your days off? Uh, if I get a day off, I mostly hang out with my mates. A guy like Tarashi-san must have a ton of mates! Tarashi-san, what do you do with your mates? Okay. Huh? Uh, hmm. Make pancakes and stuff. Bruh! Huh? Oh. But we don't just stay holed up at home. We go out and, uh, eat lunch at fancy cafes and stuff. Yeah. Who is this guy? Fans are rattled. Dang, I screwed up. Could have covered more details with Tarashi. Thank you, sleazy Tarashi-san. To close it out, it's time for bad boy Akus Akusan. Say a few words. stood there for the, the whole panel discussion. That's... that's... Huh? Ah! Bad boy Aku-san is the coolest! What a rebel! He doesn't play by the rules! Not even his own rules! But that's what makes him bad boy Aku-san! He rules! Ah, good. It was the right decision not to let the quiet Aku speak. After all, he doesn't... Talk big. He doesn't take big talk. After all, it doesn't take big talk to make a big man. An attitude speaks louder than words. Well, dang. I mean, I guess I got two out of three, right? Here, you son. Were you watching? Yeah. I saw everything. Good work. Here, you son. We try to, to apply what. We learned from you about the ways the, of the Yonkai to our panel. <laughs> the fans' respond was pretty darn good. I'm kind of shocked. Uh. Yeah, it seemed that way. It was worth all the effort. I think we, I think we can keep the Yokomichi Silvers going without sagging in popularity. Ooh. Thank you very much. Charismatic autobiography. <laughs> That was the most fun I've had, uh, the most fun I've ever had speaking in public. Here you son. Thanks. From now on, we're going to keep working hard to expand on what you, what you taught us about the way of the Yonkai. Yonkai. I, I still don't know how to pronounce that properly. We'll work on our speaking skills too. Keep an eye on us, Kiryu san. Yoko Michi Silvers are going places, just you watch. Uh. Yeah. Give it your best shot. We will. Again, still, two out of three ain't bad. People sure have all kinds of challenges to face. At least these guys are diligent. They should survive the rough road to the of the entertainment world somehow. Don't give up, Yoko Michi Silvers. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Got your hole! And open your wallet! Whoa, what? Uh -huh. I'm telling you, I can't pay. I'm dead broke right now. Don't give me that, Tops! 
I watched your sorry butt come out of the soap land last night. I don't know what that is. What? what? Yeah. Then you marched your little buddies around from club to club drinking till dawn. Living pretty lord for a broke guy, ain't ya? You were spying on me? You're right. I absolutely was. You know how many different lenders you've messed with, pork chop? <laughs> it's collection day, and your butt is getting beat. A female collection agent. Pretty unusual. Sounds like a real ball buster, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's terrifying as ever. Watch us. What, she a friend of yours? So you got that right. Or wouldn't make an enemy of her. That there is Miss Tasu. The deck collector. She's a legend in Yokohama. Miss mm -hmm. Tatsu, huh? She takes the she takes the job on the jobs that make other collection boys run away crying, and she always, always gets the cash. Her style's bold, blunt, and brutal. Add to that a bulldog's own tenacity, and you get one mean bite, my boy. Mm. Seem awfully familiar with her methods. This the voice of personal experience? <laughs> <laughs> you got me, boy. I was this close to getting my face caved in over a silly little dead a while back. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> hey! Go there, boy. We're about to see what makes little Miss Our Lady Miss Tessu so incredible. Huh? You think you can get the money out of me? I'd like to see you try. Huh. You boys and your tiny toys. You think you li your little butter knife there is gonna stop me? Mm. Drop the act. I put dozens of dudes in the hospital with this baby. And if you have a tear stained apo and if if you have a tear stained apology ready for me though, I'll hear you out. That's my line. Is <laughs> that the part about hearing you out since you'll be too dead? Now make your move! Uh Pulling a weapon on a woman? That's going too far. I'm stopping this. No, no need, boy. Just wait. Mm -hmm. No blinking now, boy. Keep those eyes on Miss Satsu. And showtime. Oh, thanks for the, the follow, Nine. I really wish I could say what the other part is, but I honestly don't know. But I guess I'll just call you by Nine. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh, jeez. style or something. Oh, those moves. <laughs> Looks like that beatdown gave you a few ideas. Uh. Yeah, more than a few. Oh, yeah. Fantastic, boy. Hope you're ready to put them into practice. Mm -hmm. But look over yonder. Looks like our bad guy here has got some friends. Ugh, jin kun has been beaten. He paid the tab last night. So what say we pay him back by sucker punching that crazy woman for him? Hear that, boy? Those dim bulbs are planning on getting the drop on little late the little lady from behind. Uh. That's that, boy. Lovely crowd. They're a perfect match for the sort of scum that that pull a knife on a woman. 
why don't you give him a little demo of what a man's supposed to be? And no saying this, and no saying this doesn't involve you this time. Yeah. I wouldn't. You can clearly defend yourself, but there's a whole pack of them. I'm jumping in. Yes. Yes, that's my boy. Keep chivalry alive and working in a fine bit and working in a fine bit of training in the process. <laughs> what do you want? Oi. You guys planning to sucker punch that woman in the back? You got an eavesdropping problem? And you're right, we are. You think I want that psycho woman to see me coming? We'll drop her before she can see those. before she can get those claws out. I don't care how tough she is, you don't hit a woman. And needing to grow, and needing to group, and needing a group to do it is just pathetic. You call yourselves men. Uh? What'd you say? You got a big mouth and a death wish, pal. Yo, we're dropping this guy before we take care of the broad. Hold a thumper to guard. Holding a thumper to guard lets you withstand any attacks. But the resist guard. You can take a certain amount of damage, but you are protected against but you are protected against damage attacks. Against attacks coming in any direction. Bolstering and defense by equipping gear and pause many further reduces the damage you can take with resist guard. Be sure to equip any gear you can. Just gets up. Blap. Eh? <laughs> what is this guy? All of us beating on him, and it's like he doesn't even feel it. You want more? Eh? Urgh, I'm not leaving till I at least punch that uppity woman out. Well, oh, excuse me. Well, well, if it isn't Porky's little friends, I saw you boys crawling the crawling the bars last night. Uh. But I must be hearing things because it sounded like you said something about punching the woman out. If you're interested, this woman is ready to go. No, no, no ma'am, it's just crazy. What kind of man will punch a lady? With the Group? So, so pathetic. <laughs> right. Now pick up that sad sack lying there and get the heck out of my sight. I've got what I came for. Got no use for him now. Yes, ma'am. Botches. Been a while. Yeah. Same old Miss Tessu, strong as a bear on baroids. You're one to talk, old man. So, gonna introduce me to my knight in shining armor here? What? Oh, right. This here's my latest find, a real diamond in the rough. Name's Cure You. <gasps> Cure You, huh? I'll remember the name. If you've got botches singing your praises, you've gotta be pretty tough. Yes! Yes. This boy's a future champion. I'd stake my career on it. 
Ah, okay. Now I'm seeing, now I'm seeing what this is. You're thinking, cure you. Here is your ticket to a fat stack of cash, which you'll then use to pay me back so we can, so we get to stay friends. Easy, tiger. I told you, it, I told you it'd take a while, but you'll get it all back. Ooh, I'm, and speaking of favors, why don't you train the boy here? Wait, what? Do I see him like the patient teacher type to you, to you? Sorry, no can do. No. No. No, don't be like that. We both need him to get stronger. Once he's champ, he'll be rolling in dough. Dough. Besides, I know you're secretly the doting type. He'll make a champion. He'll make a champion a lot easier, fast. It'll be a lot faster with him beating him into shape. That means you get paid sooner, see? Win, win, win. Good. Rajas, what do you think you're doing here, man? Yeah. Negotiating an apprenticeship with Miss Tasu here for you. Obviously. Trust me. You train under her, you'll be a master of the ring in no time flat. Huh? You're insane. I'm in serious hot water right now. I don't have time to humor your little fantasies. What? You're in hot water too, my boy? Are we talking knife and the ribs here? Because I warned you about that. I'll be lucky if that's all I get. But seriously, what's this obsession with me getting stabbed all about? <laughs> all right, chuckleheads, that's enough. Neither one of you is making good, any bit of sense. But I hear where you're coming from, Botches. Ditch the championship talk and just see, just say you care about this Kiryu kid. If you're worried about him, own it. Look, you did me a solid a minute ago. I can do this. Besides, the old man is right that my training will make a real man out of ya. Hop a cab to the, out to the pier sometime. I've got a training space there. You train at the pier? Oh, you got it. And to live there too. Pay me a visit sometime, see for yourself. I think you'll like the digs. Anyway, that was my last job in the city, so I'm headed back to base. Here to you, you, me, here, training. I'll be waiting. Botchus, I've already got a future plan. I'm sorry, but I can't be your champion. What sport are you even talking about? Boxing? Not that it matters, I can't. Ow. I know that. Doesn't mean I'll stop trying. But I know when to stop making a nuisance of myself. I'll give you some space, champ. It's about time for my afternoon drink anyway. Help me clear my head. Oh, excuse me. Good luck with that. Just don't have too many. Yeah. You think a guy called Botches can't hold his wine? Ah, see you around, boy. Keep those rib knife free. Get out of here. And thanks. I'll be careful. Didn't expect to get wrapped up in that mess. But at least I didn't come out of the way empty-handed. Now, back to looking for leads on touch on a real estate. Right, that's what I was doing. Man, I have been so distracted, I don't even know like what I'm doing half the time. objective thing or something. Oh. I'm supposed to go to the cafe, not the bowling alley. I'm a dummy. Hey Nico, want to go bowling?
Hey there, buddy. Been looking for you. You again? You got a lot of nerve showing up now. What do you want? I think it's pretty clear what I want. Time to pay your protection money, pal. You're doing business in Kamurocho. You're doing business with us. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. It's not protection money if you don't show up to actually protect me when I need it. And you have the gall to ask for more? When you need it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Tachibana Real Estate. When they came and chased me out, you people were nowhere in sight. Some protection. Tachibana. What? Oh, Tachibana Real Estate. Yeah, they're... Look, it's complicated. Complicated? You got scared and ran away. What could be simpler? Scared? Who do you think? Thanks to you, I had to relocate. And now I'm scram now I'm scrambling to get new customers to make up for all the lot ones I lost. I can't I couldn't pay you even if I wanted to. I think you better keep that attitude in check. Mind if I cut in? Yeah. What do you want? Who are you? What family are you with? I'm not in anybody's family. I'm pipe down. If this guy is it's this guy I'm talking to. Excuse me? What, what, what do you want from me? You say you opened the shop because of Tachibana Real Estate forced you out of your last location, that right? Oh, I see what this is. You're trying to be this guy's new muscle. Oh no. What? Our family's headed this... Our family's handled this cafe's protection for 30 years. You try to swoop in on our turf, it'll mean war. Looks like you need some convincing to stay quiet while I speak with the owner here. Shut your mouth and try me. I'll kill you. I'm not losing to some kid. You just did. Now get lost, and don't show your face around this guy's shop again. Uh, this ain't over. I'll make those women vanish. <laughs> there. Now we can finally talk in peace. So what? In the end, you're just taking his place as the guy squeezing me for protection money? Please, can you just leave me alone? I already said it wasn't like that. I'm not even Yakuza. I really just want to talk for a minute. About what? Tachibana Real Estate. I'm doing a little investigation and I'd like you to tell me what you know. Anything is fine. What I know isn't a lot. Besides, I prefer to I prefer never to deal with those guys again. Terrifying. Terrifying how? What do they want what did they what did they do to you? It's not even what they did. They just knew about me, like, everything about me. Like what? My parents' home address? My daughter's school? Where I source all the coffee cafe supplies? Who all my customers are? That much ammo? We didn't have to do anything. And on top of it all, not even Yakuza. At least with that, at least with that lot, you know what to expect. I see. And where would I go if I wanted to meet the guy from Tachibana's office who paid you this visit? They're probably still there, finishing what they started. Still where? Uh, Akua building on Ichi Fuka Street. Uh, that place... The place my cafe was in. 
They've driven most of the tenants out, so the place is practically empty. But there was one stubborn guy who said the only way he was leaving, <laughs> leaving, the only way he was leaving was in a casket. It's still there, probably. They're all, they were making him all sort, all kinds of sweet deals, but he turned them down, turned down every last one of them. If he's still there now, touch upon his voice will be too. Go have a look if you really want to get mixed up with them. All right, thanks. I appreciate it. Has been running tenants out of the Kua building on uh, Shichi Fuku Street. It's worth checking out. All right, finally made a bit of progress. Only an hour and a half in. Yeah. Let's talk again. My lips dry. That's where it is. Oh, well, you guys want a, want a quick fight? Get through one fight without just like finishing it. I can't ever get through a fight without getting at least one punch. Oh, so sorry, dude. But that's certainly one way to end a fight. Place Tachiwana Real Estate's been trying to buy out. No business signs. Who's Tachiwana's boys live up to the rumors? I say bar, because that's the last holdout. この店は何時から開くんだ誰店ならまだ準備中だよ立花不動産の話を聞きに来たんだがあんたここの店の店長だけどもしかして人生一家の人人生一家なんだ違うのかよおいちょっと少しだけ話を聞かせてくれないかあんた橘不動産にこのビルから追い出されそうなんだろう
何なのあんた。さっき言ってた人生一家ってのは。登場会の四次団体で、この店のケツ持ちしてたヤクザ。毎月きっちりみかじみりを取ってたくせによ。立花不動産に追い払われちまって。極道が肩毛相手に退いた。ああ、呆れたもんだよ。このビルの他の店はもう立花不動産に立ち退かされたのかうんある時急に立花不動産が来てこのビルのオーナーになったから全員出てけってさ中には立花不動産って聞いただけで店閉めるやつもいて残ってんのはもううちだけあんた家族で店に住んでるのか住む場所別にする余裕なんてないからね神さんはビルに住み着いてるホームレスが怖いって奥から出てこなくなったよ連中よこしたのも立花不動産の嫌がらせホームレスにビルの中で小便させたり大声をあめかせたり不審火まで出しやがる立花不動産の人間も毎日来るのか最近来るのは無言電話だけ夜通し何百回ってかかってくるよ誰だ急にど,どうしよう五六人はいる生瀬さん立花不動産です入れてやってくれねえか連中と話してみたい安心しろ何があっても俺が守ってやるわ分かった小田さんどうも生瀬さんどうすか立ち退きの件考えてくれましたう,うちは出て行きませんよそうは言ってもこのビルはもううちがオーナーになってるわけだし勝手な都合を並べて居座られちゃ困っちゃうんだよなだからって毎日毎日嫌がらせしやがって。うちには赤ん坊だっているんだぞ見ない顔だけどそちらさんはねえ生瀬さんこんなヤクザに耐えると後が怖いですよあいにく俺は仇の人間だがこの店の用心棒と思ってくれている用心棒誰に対してのです立花不動産って仇たずらしたヤクザだ別に部外者が何をが構いませんがまあそれより今日はちょっと預かってきたもんがありましてねこれ人生一家の親分さんからです何それ今まで生瀬さんが人生一家に取られたみかじめ料月3万の3年分に色付けて200万生瀬さんの代わりに取り返しておきましたよ極道から金を取り立てたあんたらがか100万それとうちの社長から気持ちとしてプラス200万お子さんのミルク代にもう200万かなねえ生瀬さんもうこれで手打ちましょうよ。早いとこ、このビルから出てっちゃもらえませんかね。金の問題じゃねえ。俺はな、勝手な理屈で弱いもんの人生好きにできるって、あんたらのその態度が気に食わねえんだよ。よ綺麗事はよしましょうや、生瀬さん。もうこれ以上こねてもあんたのもらいは増えませんからあんっ見えすぎた芝居しやがって
金の問題じゃなかったら何の問題だこら何かあんたにはあの鳴き声が聞こえねえのかこの,の前で親の顔にさっさば叩きつけるのが立場の不動産のやり方かそちらさんも人様に説教を垂れるほど真っ当な人間には見えませんがね<笑>まあいいでしょう生瀬さんにはこちらの誠意が通じたと見えますし何勝手なこと言ってんだ生瀬さん今夜あたりお電話いただけそうですねいいお返事を期待していますよいまどきこんな町で妙な正義感におわせちゃ命が危ないよお兄さんおわさびはほどほどにしないとねあんたこの店閉めて出ていくのかああ出てけと言われてさっさと出てった連中はバカだ辛抱を重ねりゃこういうボーナスが出てくるってのによ。I guess it was all about the money. Anta, Saki Marita, Hokano Homeless Nakama, Dostan. Oh, Coco de no Shugoto Asunda, Tessa, Sugino Toko, and you started it there. Sugino Toko, Dora. Sa, ne, you do it there. I don't know if you're a teacher. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know what the goal is, but I'll stop there. Those people are the enemy of the Kamuro Chon. The enemy? If I look at it, the Yakuza is more than just a kid. カムロ町中に目と耳を張り巡らせてるから相手がヤクザだろうが弱み見つけ出してすぐに金玉握っちまう人生一家もその手で追い払われたってわけか<笑>聞いた話じゃ人生一家の組長この間登場会本家から指詰めさせられたらしいよ何本家への上納金ちょろまかしてんのが匿名で作られてねもっとも作られたのはそのほんの一部全部ぶちまけられたら組長絶対殺されるっていうなるほど立花が小出しに作って脅しをかけたってことか別に俺は立花さんとこがやったなんて一言も言ってないよただヤクザのそんな弱み探り出せんのあそこ以外にはまずないだろうけどね俺があとあんたに言ってやれるのは立花からは手ぇ引けって忠告くらいだねヨーステーカンパニーウィリントメイクエンニューオジョコ Mm, Cafe Blend may have been right about them being worse than me. I still want a bit more info. Hopefully, I can track down those other homeless people. In this neighborhood, I usually see them hanging around Park Boulevard. Y'all、yeah, start there. Find the homeless men.
guess we're doing this, huh? Hey, Kiryu-san. Mm hmm? Well, if it isn't Komoji. Thanks again for four. So this is where you, this is where you do your thing, huh? Punch out artist, was it? Yep, that's right. That's me. That's my job. I couldn't make much sense of Butch's explanation. What is it you do exactly? Oh, rules are simple. You knock me down, or knock me out, and the prize money's yours. The prize is double. The prize is double the stakes. Whispers pay up to ten thousand yen. And if they win, I give them 20,000. Half of that's the upfront fee, so we only need to fork over the other half. Punch out artist rules. Punch, uh, or pay Komoji amount equal to the entry fee in advance. Uh, time limit is 60 seconds. If you get knocked down or knocked out, you lose. If you hit the challenger, you also lose. Mm. See, so people actually pay or actually put money on this. Frustrated drunks. That's your best bet. Come at you in a nice straight line. Nice, easy to dodge. Uh, punches are garbage too. I advise. Uh, to. I advertise to everyone. I see. I see. Is. So most challengers are guys looking to blow off steam by hitting someone, and not tough guys looking to win some cash, huh? Oh, hey, if you was interested, why don't you try it out? We could bill you as my apprentice. Why would I want to be your apprentice? Truth is, nobody ever, nobody's ever taken me down before. Word's gotten around. Word's getting around. So I want. Get more gawkers and less challengers. But with an apprentice, I reckon that change. They'd want to see if they could take you on, so I get tons of challengers again. Makes sense, but I don't take too kindly to being made anyone's apprentice or pupil. I told Botchus the same thing. Well, if I had any pointers to give you, I'll be sure. Uh, no. I make a pretty good teacher. Whew. Strange guy. But this Komoji seems like the real deal. I could learn more about this fighting style. Sure, why not? Tell me how this goes. Alrighty. Check out this price list. Customers get to choose one of the courses. Some of these are pretty pricey. Mm. Plenty of people rolling in cash these days rolling cash around here. So I figured I might get lucky. One guy picked the 1 million yen course once. Mm -hmm. All very well if you win, but you have to pay out if you lose, right? It's a pretty big gamble. Eh. Yep. That's why I turned down the million yen guy. He looked a bit too tough to risk it. <sighs> then why even have those courses? It attracts challengers. No way a homeless guy like uh, no way a homeless guy the likes of me could pay out, right? Anyways, you don't seem keen to earn that way, so Botch's plan some t some. So Botch's plan sounds best. Botch's had a plan. What was it? 
We start by looking for a 10,000 yen mark. Then, if that works out, we shoot for 100,000 yen. Dodge our way, or dodge our way through another bout, and we set our sights on a cool million. <sighs> He's dreaming if he thinks that'll work. I suppose 10 million yen and 100 million yen would be next. No way anyone will take you up on that on a bet that high. Mm -hmm. Never know, though, right? Don't knock it till you try it. So who pays out the prize money? You, of course. Whew. Here you, son. Gotta make sure you're used covered if you lose. If everything goes smooth, the money's the money will fl come flying in. Fine. Alrighty, let's start with the hundred th or the ten thousand yen course. Just give a shout when you're all ready with the money. Don't slack off with your training, neither. I mean, we'll give it a shot, why not? Mm -hmm. Ready for the... with the money and all? What gives, curious? Huh? <sighs> Got the cash, but you've been slacking on your training, hmm? Okay. I see, so I gotta level up. Alright, well, I'll do that at the start of uh, next set. Okay. Now, quickly just save. Excuse me. got word of any good jobs? If I did, I'd be doing them myself. Speaking of, I hear Saku-san just got back from that gig for Tachi, Tachibana Real Estate. Serious? You'd think he'd cut me in on some of it if I asked him. Who knows? Uh, can't hurt to ask, I guess. He's probably over at Public Park 3, Public Park 3 with his buddies. Alright, well that's convenient. Homeless guy who worked with Touchbond in real estate might have some info. I'll head to Public Park 3 and check it out. Cool, I didn't actually get hit this time, I'll take it. Really good at dodging me. Jeez, ah. Excuse me. Oh, oh. pardon me. Yeah. <laughs> 
the producer. If he doesn't show up for the location shoot today, we're... I don't know why, like, I'm like, lost my breath right there. Well, if he had that huge argument with the director at the last shoot, well, he... Oh. Well, he had that huge argument with the director at the last shoot, remember? Probably still butter. Yeah, our director is something else. He won't budge, even, he won't budge an inch, even when it means butting heads with the producer. I heard a lot of the crew can't deal with him either. Maybe it'll be a strike. Well, whatever the reason, if we try to shoot on location without the producer, the director is going to really boil over. Oh, excuse me. Maybe we can find someone who can stand in for him. Oh, sure. Someone who can stay calm and cool while taking all of the stuff our director dishes out? <sighs> we need a guy with the aura of toughness. A guy who can command respect just by being in the room. I guess guys like that aren't exactly a dime a dozen, huh? <sighs> yeah, you're right. Not like a guy who can do all that is just gonna waltz down the street at us. Huh? That bold demeanor. That aura of un unaccessible authority. I didn't get to finish reading. That's our man. The poster child of a produce of a producer just walked in on the scene into into our lives. Eh? Eh? Ano. Wait, please, wait. Our savior, I mean you, sir. You with the cool aura and magnificent poise. Yes, you. Yes. I mean you. Yes. May I have a minute? We're in a production crew for a TV show. What would a television crew want with me? Yeah. Well, we're going to be shooting a short segment at a restaurant here in town for a gourmet food program. But we're down, man, and we're desperate. Will you help us? Ready? What? How could someone who doesn't know the first thing about show business be useful to you? Yeah. No, 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 no. With an aura that magnificent, you don't have to be amazing. You don't have to do anything but stand there and look off. Authoritative. 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 Ugh. Whoa, I, I can't see. Your aura's so bright. It's dazzling. This reeks of BS. No, honestly. We're not trying to pull your leg. We're deadly serious about this. We'll do all the heavy lifting. Well, actually, we may ask you to do more things and help with some of the simpler tasks, but... Coming out of a TV show, huh? I guess that's not something everyone gets to experience. Please! It has to be you! No one else can do this! You aren't kidding about being desperate. Can I help? Fine. I'll help out. If it's not going to take time. <laughs> That's great! Thank you very much. Oh, my name is Mori. I'm the director's assistant. And this is... Kawaguchi. Our cameraman. Hi, I'm Kawaguchi. Delighted to meet you. Uh. I'm Kiryu. Good to meet you. So, what am I supposed to do? Eh. Well, the show's producer is supposed to be here, but something came up at the last minute. He can't make it. So, we need you to stand in for him, Kiryu son. Nani? Wait, what? I don't know what a producer does, but it isn't the. But isn't that role pretty important? <laughs> ah, no way. You might think that, but all the producer really does is act all high and mighty. It's a total fluff job. Mm -hmm. Is that it? I'd have no idea what I'm doing, though. People will know I'm faking it, won't they? Not to worry. Once you get to. Once we get you into some clothes with a more executive style, you'll totally pass as a producer. Oh, excuse me. You mean 
game producers have a look? How do they do? Now let's get you looking like a big shot. Oi. Guys, do producers seriously weird dress like this? <laughs> Absolutely. You're a picture perfect producer. Isn't that right, Kawaguchi san? Hey! Uh, okay. So, what am I supposed to do? Well, our director is on the way. And all we need you to do is deal with him and keep up with his demands. He can be uh, kind of a diva, and he says some weird stuff. But just try not to set him off, and you'll be fine. I'm having sex and thoughts on this here. But I'll see what I can do. Ah, should be any minute. The director's here! Here he comes! Kyrgyz son, you're up! Try to act natural. Uh. Act natural, got it. <laughs> Ciao, lovelies! Good morning. Mori-chan. Guten Morgen, baby. Uh, Luton Morgan to you too. Don't have a change, Morty Chan. I'm counting on you today. Bling bling cha ching, baby. Uh huh? Oi! What in the blazes? Where's our intrepid producer? Where is my Ida chan? Sorry, Ida-san's called in sick this morning. Kiryu-san here will be standing in for him today. Uh -huh. Kiryu? Never heard of him. He's the real deal, baby. Hi. Yes, of course. Kiryu-san does a lot of work on location overseas. This is his first domestic shoot in a while. That's probably why you don't recognize him. Very well then, Slave. <laughs> I don't care who you are. When you're on location with me, everyone has to pull their weight, Kapisha. Here you, son. This is our director, Apillion Katosan. Uh. I am Kiryu. Good to meet you. Ah. Ah. You stiff as a stiff. You dragged this guy out of the river, boys. I guess that's what they say. I guess what they say is true. People on television, the television business, do seem to be pretty shallow. This guy's irritating, but I better play along so he doesn't get suspicious. Uh -huh. There's a problem, Kiryu. If you can't return a simple greeting, your history in the biz, lad. Figures. Proper greeting is important in every walk of life. What should I do? I don't get to, uh, dis disrespected. Mm. Huh? I am Kazuma Kiryu, and I am the producer signing your paycheck, pal. Don't disappoint me today. Eh? Eh? Uh, Kiryu-chan. Uh, Kiryu-san, right. Ah. Um, how about, uh, giving me a little space here? You won't look me in the eye. Did I screw this up? So, anyway, where's the babbling bit of window dressing? She's odd deck. She's odd deck for a dining report. Mm. Window dressing. The television dragon? Hi! Yeah, about that. Our reporter, Nagasawa san, is running a little late. Uh. Uh. Then why are we here? It was your job to lock down the talent, you 
did that, didn't you? Sorry, I forgot to get her schedule in time. She's on her way right now. You, incom you incompetent imbecile. If we go over time, if we go over on time, we will be messing with the restaurants. I'm like trying my best. My brain is shutting off. You're a nice guy, Mori, but this doesn't cut the mustard. I'm sorry. Sorry. Mr. Director, what a change from the cheesy goofball a few seconds ago. I just got one short fuse. Huh? Oh, here she comes. Sorry. I'm sorry I'm late. No problemo, baby doll. We were patient as a pie. <laughs> la la. Don't look ravishing today. <laughs> oh, Kato-san, don't be silly. Okay, gang. Let's get this started party. I, I am, like, losing my brain. Fantastico! To your marks, everyone. Let's roll it. Oi! Mon dieu! What is this? Where's the erasable? Oh, sorry. You'll get it. Sorry, Kiryu-san. Can you grab the erasable from the table there and bring it over? Erasable. You can check what's on the table. That's a star. Uh. Sure. Hold on. There's some pretty random things on the table. Which do I take? Graceful must mean something to do with the props. I don't know, man. Erasable is this! Oi. Hey, I brought the erasable. Thanks, Kiryu. Sam. Put it on the table if you would. Got it. If it's literally just going to actually be the eraser. <laughs> oh, that looks tasty! Doesn't it? I want you to savor it now. Let it linger on your luscious lips. The shot will be... My tour de force. Thanks. And sorry for making you bring it over to your son. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay, so it wasn't the eraser. It wasn't the obvious thing. But boy, Kiryu son, I'm so glad you figured out erase ball is what our crew calls uh, consumable props. Like food. Uh. Yeah. I figured that food is erased when it is eaten. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad you thought more on it. I was just taking a wild guess. Brilliant. The shot's going smoothly, thanks to you. I mean, I managed to be useful somehow. I, I just assumed it wasn't going to be obvious, and I felt like just dropping a knife <laughs> would be weird. Wow, that looks delicious. There's so much, but it looks so tasty I could eat it all in one sitting. Good. The shoot's going along smoothly. Pardon me, you chan But we have to... We have to still life that erase... But we... Ha but we have to still life that erasable later. Would, so would you be a darling grocer it for me? Uh... Sure. Mm. Grocer the erasable? What does that mean? Freaking idea. <laughs> I mean, I would assume this. Grocer, right? Got it. I've got this. <laughs> That's a great looking grocery job, if I do say something. So. Oh. Hey, I grocered it. Brilliant! Thank you, Kiryu Chan. Let's take a look. <laughs> mm. 
Magnifique! <laughs> I so butchered that. Magnifique! The erasable is angled like a grosser's display. Okay. I am just like taking wild guesses. This is the things that I think it like. When you're grosser, a problem means to tilt it at an angle like a grosser display produce. Displays produce on the ship. It's easier to film still life that way. But you knew that, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I managed to get it right. Yeah, you know, I've messed up my first impression, but you know what? I'm doing pretty good on set. Thank you for a wonderful meal. It was delicious. Shoot's almost done. Sorry, Kiryu-san. Can I get you to jeer those props? It's about time to strike the set. Nani? Just jeer those props and set the strike? Or strike the <laughs> set the strike. There's no way it's this simple. I got this. Thank you, curious son. I'm sure glad you knew what jeering means putting the props away when you strike the set. I'm not gonna lie, I was very tempted when I saw Punch. It was obvious. This way we can clear out as soon as the filming's done. Yeah, it was so obvious by the three choices I had, that's why. That's smart thinking, Kiryu-san. You're looking ahead to whatever needs doing. All hail the world's best producer. Yeah, right. No, seriously. You're really helping us out. Like I got... that right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. That's all right. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Shoots over, I guess. Okay, again, three out of four. Not bad. And even the first one was like, it was kind of like middle. Here you son, you saved us. You know showbiz you show you know showbiz lingo like a pro. <laughs> no problem. I had fun with it. That was something else. It's rare to see a producer who can take charge on location like you. Please accept our thanks. Magnificent uh, magnetic necklace. You have all to make this a great producer, Curious Son. We would love to have you back anytime. What? What's going on here? Producer Ida! Did the shoot go down okay without a real crew? Producer? Uh? What the devil? Why would you even bother showing up? <laughs> ah! You need to be- you need it on a teleprompter? We're here to beat some manners into you. So... So is this... For working us like slaves late late into the night who the heck do you think you are we got into broadcasting because we love television but thanks to you you don't have time to go home and watch TV that's no way to live what can I say it takes blood sweat and tears to make a TV show fortified gentlemen Perfect. Big talk as always, director. Who made you so important that you can treat the producer like this? Uh -huh. I've had it with you. That's why we boycotted and sh the shot today. We're on strike. Boycotted? More like... Let your personal drama get in the way of work. You call yourselves professionals. Gap all you want. This is the last time we'll ever see you. Let's so let's end this on a happy note for us. Oh no. Gosh, what do we do? 
I got this. Huh? Huh? Who are you, son? Boy. Hey, hold it. Huh? Who the heck are you? Name's Kiryu. I'm the producer here. I can't have people harassing my crew. Who are you, Chung? I... Wait, you're my replacement? You just doubled my fun. I'll show you how irreplaceable I truly am. Come on, boys. Let's deal with this faker first. Menacing men. You don't mess with my TV crew. Did they pull this guy off balding built balding building? <laughs> A bodybuilding show? Forget this. Where are you, son? Are you all right? Uh, uh yeah. Thanks a million, Kiryu Chan. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the latest. It looks, it's the least an amateur like me can do. So you were faking it after all, okay, you know. You knew? <laughs> I'm no fool. I knew something was off the moment we met. You were a fish out of water. From hello. <laughs> uh, I couldn't fool a pro. I jeez, I can't speak. I couldn't fool a pro after all. But if you knew, why didn't you get rid of me right away? Because, Kiryu chan, you did the best you could with such a passion, despite not knowing a thing. TV is not a gentle mistress. A single minute, or even a second of footage, can take dozens or dozens to hundreds of hours of hard work. The struggle is, as they as we say, real. The challenge demands an incredible level of precision, experience, and skill. But there's something even more important than those. And that, monime, monime, is passion. Passion. I believe TV gives viewers hopes and dreams. There are people out there who can be inspired by TV to change their jobs, or even their way of life. I think TV is a medium that can that has the power to change people's lives for the better. Might be right about that. Uh. Most deaf. That's why we make programs with passion, no matter how bad the process may feel. As creators, we are the dream weavers. It is our duty to pass those dreams on to others. You're quite the director, you know that? <laughs> Ish posh. I am just an overbearing loser who can't even hang on to a solid crew. I want to bring the same passion I have to my work into them, out in them, but I can't even, I can never seem to get through to them. Yeah. Director Kato, what you just said, that moved me to my core. We want to, we have a lot of growing up to do. I want to do more. I want to make better programs. I want to create shows that bring people joy and inspiration. Hi. Oh, excuse me. 
I want to channel our passion into an art of film. So, please. We want to we want you to keep on us like you do. You guys. <laughs> eh, sounds like you got through to them, don't you think? They get your old fashioned sense of passion. Here you, Chun. Thanks. Honestly. You truly are a great producer. But you won't stop giving us hopes and dreams, right? Ah. On contraire, mon frère. We'll show you we'll show you dreams you've yet to even see in your mind's eye. Okay, boys. Production meeting, let's drill down a plan for some better shows. From the top. Eh? What? We just wrapped. Have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Does from the top mean? <laughs> there a safe point anywhere nearby? <laughs> I go down this. Okay, where is this? I was like right by a safe point. Yeah, I can, uh, what if I run into more events? I really don't think I can handle any more right now. Let's go ahead and get this Ooh. save done. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something, huh? Excuse me, black man. Yeah, yeah, you just really... <laughs> That man is dead. <laughs> Just one punch and that was it for that one. I just want to save my guys. All right, well, now that I've finally saved, anybody out there that was watching, I appreciate you coming to check it out. Uh, Kasai and Nine, I appreciate the follows. And YouTube, hope this has been enjoyable to uh, anybody that didn't catch the stream. So, thank you for, thank you for the time. I will be back again on Friday to continue, so hope you look forward to that. So, you all have a nice day now. Remember, on from the top, and the grocer, your, uh, your Instagram phone filter food things, I don't know. Bye!